good morning students today we shall continue with exercise 11.4 in the previous class we completed up to question number 4 so today we shall continue from question number 5 let's read the question vidushi went on a tour to goa she started her tour on 3rd january and came back on 8th february how long was her tour see this journey starts on 3rd january and she came back on february okay so we need to calculate the duration between january and february okay so let's start let's write the statement days from Third January to thirty first January. First, we'll find out number of days she spent in January. See here, the tour was started on third January, so we will be starting. We will be counting from third January to thirty first January. Number of days in between the the two dates. Okay, so. Thirty one minus two is twenty nine days. Clear. And days in February days from first February to eighth February. Okay, first February to eighth February is eight days. Clear. therefore the duration between 3rd jan to 8th february equals to what will you do will add both okay So eight plus is sixteen seventeen seven two plus one three thirty seven days clear like this you have to find out okay so if if you are going to find the days number of days between January February or March so what you need to do you need to find out days month wise okay. Days month wise clear like this you'll find out the answer okay now next let's read next question now question number six a school closed for summer vacations on second May and reopened on eighth July. For how many days did the school remain closed? Okay, let's find out number of days the school was closed in May first. Days, right? Days from second May to. Thirty first May equals to thirty one minus one is thirty days. Now let's see. School reopened on eighth July. Okay, so. See, school was reopened on eighth July, so school was closed up to seventh July. Okay, so days from second May to thirty first May is thirty days. Then June is full closed. Days from first June to thirtieth. June. How many days? Thirty days. 
clear june was full closed okay now days from 1st july to 7th july okay see on 8th july the school was reopened so school was closed up to 7th july so how many days 1st july to 7th july is 7 days now therefore the school remain closed for equals to what you can do what you can do addition 30 plus 30 60 plus 7 67 days okay like this you have to find out the answer now question number 7 Mukul left at 5 30 a.m on friday and drove to mumbai okay he reached mumbai at 3 15 pm on monday means mukul started on friday and reached mumbai on monday means friday saturday sunday monday how many days four days friday saturday sunday monday four days okay how long did it take him to reach Mumbai? So let's find out. Day wise, we need to calculate. Okay. So right here. Duration. From 5.30 a.m. to 12 midnight or you can convert 5 30 am as 0 5 3 0 hours to 24 hours okay so 5 30 am to 12 midnight see here 12 midnight is 24 hours 2400 hours 2400 minus 0, 5, 3, 0. Let's find out. 60 minus 30 is 30. And 4, 3 minus 5 is not possible. 13 minus 5 is 8. 1, 8. So, 18 hours. 18 hours, 30 minutes. Okay. On duration from 5.30 a.m. to 12 midnight on friday friday sorry friday only okay so 18 hours or you can write 18 hours 30 minutes i'm writing like this okay next duration on saturday equals to whole day means 2400 hours okay duration on sunday it is on sorry it is on Sunday equals to again 2400 hours again duration on Monday equals to see at what time Mukul is reaching Mumbai 
3 15 pm when you will convert 3 15 pm in 24 hour clock you'll find 15 15 hours 15 15 hours clear therefore total duration equals to we'll write all hours column minutes column leave this 18 hours how many minutes on monday 30 minutes on monday add all okay 2400 hours 2400 hours on saturday sunday also 2400 hours and 15 15 hours on monday okay now add it 30 plus 15 is 45 minutes and 8 plus 4 12 it's 16 16 and 5 is 21 1 2 is here after adding all the duration of all the four days, we get at 81 hours, 45 minutes. Okay. Now we'll convert this into days, hours and minutes. Okay. For that, we'll write now. Convert eighty one hours forty five minutes into days hours and minutes okay to convert this what we will do we'll divide only 81 hours okay 81 hours by 24 okay because a day has how many hours 24 hours okay let's divide it See, here we can divide 81 by 24. 24 threes are 72. What we get? 11 minus 11 minus 2 is 9. Clear? Okay. So here we get the quotient as 3 and remainder as 9. So, Quotient will be days, therefore we are getting 3 days, remainder will be hours, 9 hours and this remaining 45 will be 45 only, 45 minutes, okay, clear, like this you have to find out the answer, okay. So today we will be doing up to question number 7 only. In the next class we shall start exercise 11.5. Okay. Thank you.